Köszöntöm kedves nézőinket! Ez itt a KTV Sport Podcastjának, a Zicsernek a második adása. A mai adásunk is a Lechner Kávéházból jelentkezik, és vendégünk egy ifjú szerb kosárlabdázó, Márko Sinik, aki a Dunaszfad DTKH Kecskemét légiósa, idén érkezett a csapatba. Angolul fogok vele beszélgetni, és feliraton tudják majd követni a magyar fordítást. So welcome, uh, Marco, in the, our sports podcast. It's great to have you here. Uh, thank you, thank you for inviting me. It's my pleasure to be here and uh, greetings to all Cat Air fans and uh, all, uh, what, uh, who, who watching us. Did I pronounce your name well? Yes. yes. Shinik or? Yeah, Shinik. Shinik, yeah. good. Good. So I thought we could um, uh, start our little conversation at the beginning uh, with your childhood in Serbia. You were born in Belgrade, in the capital, yes. as I read. Yes. Um, so please tell us a bit about your childhood, how you encountered with, uh, with sports, with basketball, and how you became a professional player. Uh, okay. Yeah, yes, how you say, I'm, I'm born in Belgrade, playing all my life uh, practically in Belgrade. Uh, I went to basic school there, high school there, <laughs> college there. Uh, I'm playing uh, all my life uh, basketball. I was played there, and this is my how I say first time that I'm uh, out of my city, out from my home. But I don't feel like that. Uh, it's Kerchkem, a very nice city, and it's for uh, this short period it was come like my second home. I feel great here. Uh, club is amazing. Uh, people in the clubs are amazing. Team, it's too. I like this city, I like these people and everything for now it's like uh, pretty much the same like in, for me in Belgrade. Uh, that would be it. Uh, it. Uh, my family was also in Belgrade whole life. Uh, I live, lived with them. Uh, they, uh, they have a really big influence on me to, to finish that uh, college, to, to uh, doing something besides basketball. Uh, I like basketball. basketball. Basketball was all my life was my first choice. But beside that, because of my family, I uh, took a part of uh, education. I needed to go to school, and not just the training. So uh, at this uh, this uh, at this moment, I'm very grateful to my parents and my family because they uh, have a vision like that for me. So I recommend all young sports guys to not just looking in the basketball they need to to do something beside that Basket, basketball is very nice that's great opportunity great chance great uh, experience for the life but it's not long uh, it's not long, long for a uh, whole life uh, that's just the part of the life after that you need to do something else was it a simple decision that you go for basketball or other sports were also in the picture uh, I, in all my life, I just trained basketball. That's my first love. I, when I st step on the court, court first time, I know that's the sport that I like, that I would like to play. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's the only sport that I like, uh, like to uh, play. Uh, I like to watch all other sports. I'm a real sports guy. I like to play other sports, but uh, not uh, at that level of the comp competition like the basketball. I like football, I like tennis, you know, Serbia, I like Djokovic. <laughs> and Serbian people are crazy about sports. We like all sports, but for me personally, basketball is like my first life. My childhood team was Partizan Belgrade. I like that team. We one went on the games when I saw that atmosphere and all of that. I know that that's the, that's the, that's the thing that I want to do. Mm. In your family, um, are there other professional sports people? Mm, no. You are the first one in the family yeah. who <laughs> go. Yes. And, but your family supported you yeah, in yeah. this? Uh, they are coming on our games in Kecskemet. Uh, it's Belgrade Kecskemet. It's not so far. It's three hours of driving. But they, they, they are always here for me and supporting me all my life. Whenever I play, they are here for me. and. In good times, bad times, they are here for me, and that's that's the most important uh, thing for me beside the sports family. 
how did you uh, come to Catch Commit? How did Catch Commit come into the picture? How were you invited to this club? Uh, uh, honestly, I played a few good, very good seasons in Serbia, uh, and I feel like that's it. I, I stepped this level. I need to find something other that that inspires me. I followed uh, all the leagues, uh, Hungary leagues especially. I got few Serbian friends who played here. Uh, not uh, beside Kerchkem, they're playing in other teams. So I knew for this league very good. And uh, when the chance uh, in the Kerchkem opened for me, I didn't uh, think about that a lot, uh, so much. I know that's the good thing for me, a good team. I knew that team from the earlier because uh, one Serbian player played here, Marko Jerasimovic. He was the some kind of legend of this team. And when I uh, got a contact from this team, first person who I called is him. And I, that's the main reason to, for me to, to break out. That's, that's the good team, good, uh, good uh, environment for me to continue my career. And at this moment, I would like to thank him a lot. And uh, that's the main reason how I for me, that's the main reason how I get here. Um, in the Catch Commit uh, club, there are two um, Serbian players who are very experienced, um, Kemal Karahodzic and Rasko Dramicanin. Uh, how is your relationship with them? How did they, how are they now supporting you in your adaptation? Yeah, as we already say, that this, this is my first year abroad. The new team, new country, new team, it's, uh, that, that don't speak my language. So at first I was a little bit scared how, how it'll be, everything go. But when I uh, find out that I will have two, two guys from Serbia, it was all became easier for me. Uh, but when I came here and when season starts, uh, everything is going very, very well. All my teammates helping me very well, not just Serbian, all teammates. Uh, Hungarian guys teaching me Hungarian, uh, helping me with Hungarian language. So for me, it's very important thing in all of this. Uh, beside of that, especially two important players for me was Kemal and Rasko. They are here for, I don't know, 10 years or maybe more. They are a legend of KT, they are a legend of Tungeria League. Uh, they know everything about every team, every player, every situation that I uh, need to get through. They are, they are already been there and uh, they are experienced guys who, 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 who helps me a lot. And uh, oh, I, I would also love to, to thank them both at this opportunity. So, most important thing for me is that help what I get from him. How is your connection with Stojan Ivkovic? Uh, Stojan was uh, also a very important uh, person who, who brought me here, who, who helped me in uh, my ad adaptation here. And uh, you know, when you have an opportun opportunity to just uh, talk with a guy who was on the head of national team for uh, 10 years, that's the for me, that's the big chance, big opportunity to learn, to, to, to talk with him, to, to get all the things from him. That's, that's a very important thing. You are a point guard. You play in the point guard position. What do you think, what makes a good point guard? Many things, many things. Experience first. Uh, you need to get some... Uh, situations in your head very well to, to read, to know, to, to know your team, it's very good. But uh, I think the most important thing is probably self-confidence, to believe in yourself, to, to have ball in hands, to take responsibility. Coach is the first, uh, first thing in the team. But after coach, I think point guard coming on the court and he, he need to be main on the, on the court and if Point guard plays very, very well, whole team play very, very well. So I think that's it. 
you already mentioned that you like it here in Kecskemét and in Hungary. Um, but besides basketball, what what do you do for fun? Where do you go out? What do uh, you like? In the Kecskemét, I was uh, everywhere, pretty much everywhere. Uh, first week when I came here, a uh, club uh, and the uh, fans uh, organized us, a uh, few foreigner guys, like a uh, uh, trip to the city and we we were on the sun, uh, every important place in the town. We were in the theater, in the city hall, we were uh, in the main square, uh, in the Basilica, Catedrala, Basilica. Uh, it was a very nice experience for me, especially because it's my first time in abroad. So it was, I can describe that feeling when I came here and when I, get, when I live with all of that, that's a great uh, experience. Besides of that, I went in a safari park, Richter, that's near Ketchkeme too. Uh, went to Budapest a few times and I like Hungary. It's pretty much uh, similar like mo my country. Uh, it's not so far. It's pretty much same culture. Uh, people are great. Country is amazing and I like this. Are you learning the Hungarian language as well? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. But you are focusing on it, or? Yeah, how how I how my time is uh, allowed to me, I, I'm doing maximum of me. Okay. Um, the last game uh, was a very important game, and uh, we won, and you played a key role in that uh, win. So congratulations for that, and. Uh, the next game will be very difficult. Uh, Falco is coming on Friday to catch Kamet. What are your expectations? Uh, thank you for congratulations. Uh, yeah, it was a very important win. We were in the series of five losses and uh, some games that we lost, it it was on the one ball, it uh, missing of the lucky, but, but we break that uh, negative record. So now I think it will be better for us, better in the future. We need to win some games and uh, in the Friday we got uh, against championship holders they are very good team experienced team well led team uh, but we are preparing for them like every other team uh, I hope that in the Friday gym will be full of our fans uh, as always and on our, on our on our court court with our supporters I can I think we can win every team in this league, so no fear we are going on that game maximum and to to try to win that game. Mm. In the longer run, in the next years, what are your ambitions and plans? You know, the future is unpredictable. You, you can't make some futuristic plays, especially in our job. Uh, Basketball isn't easy to play. Today you are here, but tomorrow maybe you are not here. But my, especially my plans to every every training, every uh, next game, I give everything of me on the court to play best what I can to do. And we will see. We win some games. Went to playoff. I hope so. After that, we will see. I hope. Kate will be good in future and I hope that I will be here. So I wish you all the best for Friday and for the rest of the league. And uh, thank you for uh, being here in this podcast. Yeah, thank you also for the invitation. It was a pleasure to be here with you. És búcsúzom nézőinktől is. Az egyszer második adását látták. A, a műsort megnézhetik a YouTube-on, illetve a KTV műsorába is be lesz szerkesztve, és a híros.hu portálunkra is fel fog kerülni a műsor. Köszönjük, hogy velünk tartottak. Hajrá, KTE!